This is an example uh, of a feedback uh, sketch uh, architecture. I have a common sketch here and I have a sketch object Python and this object depends on uh, its parent, it's the sketch object, here is the dependency graph. And what does it mean? The sketch is here this red polyline and the depending object uh, is this S-curve. It consists of two uh, arcs which have here a tangent constraint and the logic uh, behind these two objects is that both curves meet the same endpoints. Uh, this behavior is triggered from the sketch. That means when I change the endpoints in the sketch, then the green curve must uh, move the same way. S uh, the green curve gives a feedback and it means um, that the second points here, this one and this one, of the red uh, polyline always should uh, live in the center of the green curves and this is a point which can be configured uh, without restrictions. So let's start. The first thing what we do is uh, we start the sketch and here I can now uh, move the end point and the green curve follows the point and now uh, with the constraints in the green sketch uh, the midpoints of the curves must change too. So if I move such a middle point then it jumps back to that place because we have the constraints but only this point is free configurable. So the, the other is uh, this sketch. When I edit this sketch, then I know uh, the endpoint is defined by the polyline. And what can I do? I only can move here the middle point. And I see when I change the middle point, then the red polyline follows them. Okay, now let's have a look at the logic of the green uh, sketch object Python. Here is the execute method and the execute method first recomputes the sketch and then it sets a lock and when the lock is set then uh, only the my execute method is executed and in this method I can update the object and also I can object the parent object. This is the my execute method that means the first is we put the data from the parent object to the object. Here we set the endpoints. These are these commands. Then we recompute um, the sketcher object Python figure and then we use the computed values here. This is a point um, 0, 3 is the middle point of the first arc and we put this data back to the uh, sketch to the x and y coordinates of um, this one and then we do the same for the other point. These are these two constraints. Um, because I want to be comfortable I set the driving parameters always to uh, 
construction mode as means to blue one so I can use the mouse to move them around but when I calculate the sketch I have to set them to hard constraints so here at the beginning I set all to the red constraints and here at the end I switch back to the blue constraints and so uh, for the movements with the mouse are possible.